You're watching the station that's working for you. Now, WMAR 2 News. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. The Department of Justice has filed a discrimination lawsuit against the Baltimore County Police Department, alleging that the department engaged in employment discrimination against African American applicants for entry level cadet positions. The lawsuit says that the police department made its hiring decisions based on the results of an exam that were not job related and disproportionately excluded those African American applicants. The DOJ says those practices but has been going on since 2013 and appear to have been unintentional. The county executive John Olszewski denies any liability, but he did say the department has stopped using that test and that the county has created two diversity focused positions and will work with the DOJ to try to resolve that matter. Police in Baltimore are still looking for the person who shot at an officer and tried to hit the car of another officer. This incident happened early yesterday morning in West Baltimore. Police say that suspect tried to hit the officer with the car. They say moments later that same person shot at another officer who tried to stop that car and SUV. The suspect drove away. Neither of those officers was hurt, but the president of the union that represents police officers in Baltimore City said officers were told to stand down during this incident, just like he says they were told to stand down during the riots in Baltimore five years ago. He's referring to the fact that officers had to stop giving chase to that vehicle once it got to high speed on 295. The tractor trailer driver accused of causing a fiery crash that killed a seven year old boy and a local business leader has been charged with manslaughter. A grand jury in Hartford County has indicted a man named Carlu Watson. He's from New Jersey, eight charges. This crash happened back in March on Route 24 in Bel Air and state police say that driver Watson failed to slow down during a traffic backup and crashed into several cars while he was on his cell phone. Andrew Klein, the president of Klein Family Markets, was killed along with that little boy, seven year old Trip Johnson. Watson could face 30 years in prison and $30,000 in fines. The MDTA has narrowed down its options for a potential new bridge over the Chesapeake Bay. There's three remaining choices. All of them have their western end in Anne Arundel County and then cross over to the eastern shore. The MDTA says Corridor 7, which is where the existing Bay Bridge is, would provide the most congestion relief if a third span could be built there. There are some open houses coming up talking about feedback for the proposed crossings. The MDTA also is still considering a no build option. The first meetings on September 24th at Kent County High School. More information on those crossing options and those meetings on the website right now. WMAR2news.com. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy hump day everyone. On this Wednesday, the humidity is back. Showers and storms are possible this afternoon. And the Labor Day weekend forecast is going to be 50-50 if you started on Friday. The weather alerts are out there for this morning and we're looking at a coastal flood advisory until 9 o'clock for southern Baltimore County and for all of Anne Arundel County goes until 10 o'clock this morning. Once again, we're going to be watching for some tides and also that onshore flow that could cause some flooding of the low-lying areas across the coast. So we're going to continue for today day with the muggies, but then as we head towards tomorrow, we'll start to see some changes in the forecast as that cold front is going to drop us back down to the comfy levels with those dew points in the 50s at the surface. There's that cold front that will continue to move through the area for today. It is going to keep tropical storm Aaron away and also bring in that drier air. We look at tropical storm Dorian and we can see what's going on here. This will continue to have problems for Puerto Rico as we go through the rest of today. Hopefully the terrain of the mountains will tear that apart and it won't be as strong as it makes its way towards Florida as we head into the Labor Day weekend. We'll keep our eye on that. You can see most of the spaghetti models do take it into Florida, but we do have some that take it up the Carolina coast as well. So once again, we'll continue to keep our eye on the tropical trouble that's going on there. Future cast picks up on the scattered showers uh, moving through thunderstorm activity as we head towards about five o'clock, six o'clock this evening. The high temperature today nice and seasonal coming in right around 84 degrees, but feeling a little warmer because we do have the humidity out there. It is going to be downright warm gorgeous as we head into your Thursday and also your Friday. Looks good. Thanks very much, Lynette. That's all the time we have for now. Stick with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. It's got live radar and you can set up breaking news alerts to come straight to your phone or tablet. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.